These powers stand in contradistinction to the highest spiritual vision. In manifestation, they are called magical powers. The divine man is destined to supersede the spiritual man, as the spiritual man supersedes the natural man. Then the disciple becomes a master. The open powers of the spiritual man, spiritual vision, hearing, and touch stand, therefore, in contradistinction to the higher divine power above them, and must in no wise be regarded as the end of the way, for the path has no end, but rises ever to higher and higher glories. The soul's growth and splendor have no limit, so that, if the spiritual powers we have been considering are regarded as in any sense final, they are a hindrance, a barrier to the far higher powers of the divine man. But viewed from below, from the standpoint of normal physical experience, they are powers truly magical. As the powers natural to a four-dimensional being will appear magical to a three-dimensional being,